Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I would like to capture my thoughts this morning with the words, be careful what you ask for. Now, I, 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 my, my story can be found in, my story can be found in, in 1 Kings chapter 2. It's a very powerful story about the, about a man, a promising young man, and his name was Adonijah, or some people say Adonijah. This man, first of all, he was a son of David. And when David was old, he presumed, he assumed that he was going to be the next king. So he made people even anoint him king until uh, Nathan went and said to Bathsheba, uh, David, listen, you promised that throne to Solomon. So long and short of it was that, I mean, uh, Adonijah never got the throne or Adonijah never got the throne. It was Solomon who ascended the throne. Now, comes the interesting part. Now Adonijah, when he, he 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 realized that he was in trouble, he ran and held the horns of the altar. And Solomon was told that Adonijah is holding the horns of the altar, so forgive him. So he told him, I've forgiven you, no problem. But then comes something else that Adonijah did that was very interesting to me. There was a woman called Abishag, the Shunammite, and, and it was the woman who gave David comfort when David was, you know, old and uh, they wanted somebody to warm his bed for him, nothing happened between them. And that would show you that, man, really, David, a nice woman, a Shunammite woman, nice being given to David and nothing happens. Then the king is really, really sick. Anyway, that's the joke side of it. But Adonijah went and said to Bathsheba, go and tell your son that he should give me the Shunammite woman to marry. I mean, Abishag, I want to marry Abishag. You to have a wife. I mean, it looks an innocent, uh, it looks innocent in the, in the, the, but mind you, Abishag belonged to the king's harem, belongs among the king's concubine. So, rightfully, Abishag would belong to Solomon in those days where, um, men were allowed to marry a lot of, People. I mean, Solomon, and you can realize that when it comes to Solomon, Solomon doesn't play with his women at all. 300 wives and 700 concubines. Now, that guy is a great guy. You can be a thousand women. Men, I mean, he must be a machine. Anyway, but the most important thing was that then Adonijah goes and says, I want one of your women. Oh boy. And as a result of that, Solomon said, Oh, he was my woman. Then this guy, I've met him already because he wanted my throne. And right now, what rightfully belongs to me, he also wants it. He wants more than my throne. He wants more than the woman. He also wants my throne. Kill him. So Adonijah or Adonijah went for, he asked for a woman. He asked for a wife, but he ended up losing his life. You know, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. And sometimes there are things that we wish for and we pray, for, we crave for. You may it, it may, it may cost you. And what in the, if, if Adonijah had known that this thing going to ask, I will lose my life, he wouldn't have gone to ask for it. Think through before you, you make a request. Think through before you go for some things. Think through them. Because sometimes you will think that you're going for something good, something nice, something pleasant, something hushious or whatever they call it. But you may end up visiting the Valley of Dry Bones, that is death. Valley. He asked for a woman. He got death. You need to be careful what you ask for. Because in the end, it might cost you. And sometimes, sometimes people, um, I, I wonder, you know, you walk around with certain desires. You walk around, I want this, I want this, I want that, I want that. You want it? Okay. It may cost you. Samson wanted Delilah at every cost. It cost him his life. Lot wanted Sodom and Gomorrah, the lush plains, going towards Sodom and Gomorrah. He got it, 
but he left in penury. This is the challenge. So be careful what you ask for, because in the end, it may cost you more than you spent getting it. Well, I can't make those choices for you. You have to make those choices. So, see you later.